Welcome back. So at, at the end of our last video, we configured and ran a, a debug on our very first green flow. And in this video, we're going to continue with our get records um, explanation. So we're going to go over some of the basics of these data elements on the left hand side. And the first one we're going to pick is the get records. If you've taken a break or forgotten how to get here, um, just navigate to the back end of Salesforce, type in flow, select flows from the process automation section, and then pick your flow from the list. So our first green flow. So in this video, we're going to cover the get records element. And this is a data element that allows us to look up records in Salesforce. And you can see when I hover over it, it says find Salesforce records and store their field values to use later in the flow. And this is really powerful. We're going to work, I guess, a lot with the get records element. So it's really important that you understand this. And what this will allow us to do is find any record that we can think of inside Salesforce. You could almost think of it as uh, Googling the Salesforce database. So this is how we get information. And the way it works is very similar to a Salesforce report. So before I drag this to the canvas, I'm going to click open my screen. So let's click this open. And below our hello world text box, let's uh, scroll down in the input section and let's add a text box here. And we'll label this first name. Oops, and I capitalized the I. And then I'm going to select a second text box from the input se section of the screen. And I'm going to call that last name. And so now we have two text box text boxes that run across the screen, one for first name. Oh, I spelled that wrong. And then the second one for last name. And so what we're going to emulate with our get records, this is going to connect directly to our get records, but we're going to pretend that a user opens up the screen flow and types in a name. And then we want Salesforce to go find a record with that name. So let's press done. And now that we've uh, done that, let's drag a get records to the screen. So I'll just move my mouse over get records and I'll drag this over uh, to the canvas. And as with all the other elements, when you first drag it to the canvas, you have to name it. So we'll call this, uh, we'll say get lead record is what we'll name it. And in the description, I'll type get lead record based on name in the screen flow. And if you can kind of guess where this is going, we're going to take the first and last name fields from the screen flow and use whatever the user types in there to find a record of the lead object. And so with a get records, you first have to give it a name, but then the second step is you have to define what object you're looking up in Salesforce. And you'll always have to pick an object, otherwise you can't continue. And so the object that we'll pick here is the lead object. And so you can see that when I type in the word lead, the different objects in the list filter down and we can pick the lead object itself. So I'll click that. And now the get records expands and we get some different configuration options. Uh, some of these are more advanced than we're going to cover here. But the one that I do want to talk about is this filter. So when we're looking up records in Salesforce, the get record starts by looking up every single lead. So we have no filter right now on this get records, it will just find every lead in the system. And so what we need to do is kind of filter that down. And so um, we can specify different lead fields here in the uh, lookup section. And so by clicking on field, you can see that every lead field becomes available. And if I scroll down, I could select first name. And then I could even add another field, but it's called add a condition, but it just gives you a new row and a new field to select from. And then I could add last name. So if I scroll down and select last name from the list, I've now chosen two different lead fields that we want to use as part of our filter. And so when we're filtering, this kind of works like a Salesforce report, but we get different operators. So I'll open up that list and you can see that we have, you know, a list to choose from. In this scenario, we want to find a lead where the first name and the last name equals whatever the user typed in, in the screen flow. So let's press that here. Um, or let me click the value now. And what we're going to do is we are going to set the first name equal to whatever the user typed in in the screen component. And we set that value by clicking on value. And you can see that once I click that open, I get, you know, different options here. And when I scroll down, 
um, our screen component. So those components that we actually dropped on the screen become available for us to select as values. So I'm going to select first name for the first name. And I'm going to repeat that process and select last name for the last name. And if we scroll down further, we see that there are different uh, options for uh, the bottom of the get records. We'll just leave those by default and we're going to get a bunch of experience with that throughout the rest of the course, but we're going to keep it simple for now. Um, so I'll press done and I guess just make sure that you're, you're looking up the lead object. You have your field first name equals the first name of that screen component and same thing for the last name and I'll press done. And so what I can do now is I can connect by uh, moving my mouse over the, the white dot here, I can connect the screen to the get records. And so what will happen is when we kick off our flow, the user will see a screen. They'll be prompted to enter either the first name, well, the first and last name, and then they'll be, uh, I guess once they press next on the screen flow, on the screen, Salesforce will run this get records. And so I'll save that. And this will go look up a lead in Salesforce, which is really cool. And so um, I guess let's maybe look for a lead. We could try this out. So I'm going to click on the home tab of my browser just to find a lead in Salesforce. And you see there's a bunch of leads in the list here, but let me click leads. And we'll just pick a name. Oh, I didn't recently view any. So I'll click all open leads. And we see Bertha Boxer is there at the top of the list. So let's click Bertha Boxer. We'll click the details and we can see um, that her name is Bertha and Boxer. So we could actually look this record up by using our screen flow. So I'm going to go back to the screen flow by clicking that tab. And just as we did in the last video, I'm going to press debug. And this lets us run the screen flow in like a pretend mode, basically. So we'll press uh, debug. That opens up in a new window. We are asked to configure our debug options and we don't really have anything advanced to configure, so we will just press run. And you see that the first name and last name uh, text boxes have been added to our screen. And I can type in the word Bertha, which is the first name of that lead that we just opened. And I can type in her last name, Boxer. And now when I press next, I'm gonna go back to our canvas. Our screen will move um, from this element, excuse me, our flow will move from this element to the get lead record. And then I think it will just end because we haven't configured anything after. But when I press next, you can see that on the right hand side here, we have our, our debug details. And this is kind of showing what's happening in the, in the background. So for every element in our flow, the debug details will tell us what happened when the flow ran. So we see that the, the flow started, it's called an interview for, um, I'm not sure why. <laughs> Salesforce just calls it an, an, an interview. But uh, we started and we see our screen. And you can see that um, the values that we entered into our first name text box appear here. So the word Bertha is what we as a user actually typed, same thing for Boxer. And then we selected the navigation button next. So the debug details is really helpful. It's kind of telling us exactly what we as an end user did. And then it went to our get records. And you can see that the result was that it successfully found a record and that you can see it was looking for a record where the first name equals Bertha and the last name equals Boxer. So that's awesome. Um, our get records went and found a record in Salesforce. And that's really powerful. Um, you know, it's really helpful in a flow to be able to look up any record that you can think of in Salesforce. And so we're gonna get a lot of experience with that. But I did wanna just show that to you uh, here in the video um, to explain how the get records element works. And if you didn't fully understand it, that's no problem. We're going to get a ton of experience with get records, but just know that you can um, look up any record that you can think of in Salesforce by using the get records.